Welcome to the Modern Application Development 2 screencast. In this screencast, we will see how to use view routing when building a single page app. For this, you will need a browser. I'm using Firefox here. Uh, we will need uh, an editor. I'm using Sublime Text here. Single page applications. We have all heard the name single page application or SPA which are web applications or sites that mimic desktop applications. They try to do that by not refreshing the page or not reloading the page and trying to fetch the data in the background, which means, you know, dynamically updating the content of the page by fetching the data in the background. Advantages are like, you know, it feels fast. Uh, you don't need to keep downloading the same template code again and again. You just need to, you know, fetch the necessary data or send the necessary data using APIs. Feels like desktop native app because you know transition between app pages are fast and you know uh, there's no delay and it, it and there is no refresh of the screen um, that you would see in a website. Uh, there are many techniques that we use to build an SPA. Uh, some of them we have already seen uh, like you know using fetch APIs to get the data or send the data in the background. Uh, one another technique is, uh, you know, in-page routing or within the page, uh, how to route to different parts of the page so that the transition between the screens or components looks seamless and fast. Uh, in view, we use view routing and that's what we're going to try today. Um, we are already building applications using components. We have already seen one like message component and etc. etc. If you build multiple components as part of multiple uh, screens, then we can use view routing to bring them together and route to necessary part as expected by the user. Uh, there is a nice Wikipedia article on single page application and the various techniques that are used. You can go through them. It's not exhaustive but it gives you an introduction um, and but uh, in our case we are going to use view router uh, you can go to this page to get started uh, and to get started we need to add like this extra component uh, view router.js now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the existing app that we had used last time and let's say if this was your guest book or it was Fatima's guest book and uh, if she had more pages on this app for example, an about page and privacy policy, terms and condition, etc., etc., or even maybe other forms, or, or upload your profile, up, send a picture, things like that. Then we we'll probably like you know add components that represents these features and then navigate within that page without loading the page. Now uh, let's go to the code and remove a certain part and make it you know uh, uh, using view routes. Let's say we had home page where we'll have Fatima's uh, message box and messages and then we'll have an about page where uh, we'll explain what is this and then a terms and condition or a privacy policy page where we'll have privacy policy. Uh, this is what we had earlier. It's the same application, you know, um, say hi. It's the same thing. We are not going to do anything else here. Uh, we are going to keep the same thing and we can to add components to it and navigate between those components, right? Uh, let's uh, go back to our application.html and uh, for example, we have, you know, our container app here and we have added message pog directly here. Uh, let's not do that. We'll do that in different way now a little bit. So I'm going to remove this here and uh, remove this as well um, and add view routing to start add view routing um, let's um, cl I'll close this I've just gone to you know anyway get started page so I'll just add that script here so you know, we have view routing component and then you can define routes Right, you can define multiple routes. We are also we can also define routes, right? Uh, we can go ahead and define our routes. Um, 
So let's say we had two routes or three routes. So let's say we had a route called slash which is home right and we had a route called about and a route called privacy policy right uh, we're going to just name them like that so that they are visible here here is about is home okay so now whenever the uh, whenever someone goes to this route um, we want it to be shown as here as part of the content right whatever is the content of that route right whatever however we render it right so that's done by adding router view like you can see an example here i'll show it to you later but it's done using router view i'm just going to uh, paste that here it's a simple router view So basically this, uh, whenever you go to specific router link, it shows the specific router view of that. So that's the general display of it. Uh, now I can go to application.js. Now, you know, we want to make it component wise and we want to show only one component. And we also want to sh have other two components, one for about and one for uh, you know home home will is where we'll show like a message box about and privacy policy let's go define this is const uh, message uh, box uh, we can call it message box here yeah. uh, or message board right and i'll define uh, another component called privacy policy which is a simple component i'm not it can be any other any kind of component but i'm going to make very simple component and with one just one template static template right you can make it as complex as you want but i'm going to have a template with some value i'm just going to copy paste some random text from lorem ipsum right so let me just copy paste that privacy policy right and similarly i'm going to define another component for about which also i'm going to you know uh, paste some static <coughs> template you can make it as dynamic as you want like message board but i'm not going to do it for now, now once you do that we have like you know message board policy and privacy policy and this has to be about not uh, privacy policy let me just do an about okay so now we have to route it so we have to define the routes right let's define the routes uh, routes is where you tell if you go to which url path what components you have to show right so let's define that but it's just an array of uh, of paths and components so i'm going to uh, quickly copy paste so that it's easier okay i'm going to define routes here you can see that on the slash I'm going to go use the component message board on slash about I'm going to use about on slash privacy policy I'm going to use privacy policy it kind of matches with this two two one two right the matches should match the same thing now that is done now we need to attach this route to our app which is defined here but uh, for that we need to define the route right so I will create a view router object by passing this routes to this router and then pass this router to our view app All right uh, let's do this uh, router and route right so that i think should uh, should do it now what we have done 
we defined a component, we have mapped it to URL paths, and then we have added the view router to our view app. app. Okay, let me just uh, go back to my page. I refresh this, you can see the URLs here. Now, if I click on home, it doesn't do much because we are already in the home. If I click on about, you can see that page loads in instantaneously. It's still in the same page. Um, you know, it's not a reload from the back end. Uh, we are still doing it. We could have actually fetched this content using an Ajax request as part of the content renderer, right? Uh, we could have written here on mount. For example, we could have written on mount and got this content as part of on mount if it was dynamically loaded, right? So it will still feel, or uh, you know, without actually reloading the page, we will still get the data. Similarly, privacy policy. Now, if you can go to home and it will still work, right? This will still work, right? And you can see, and if I go back, it still comes back and now it gets re-rendered again, right? That's why it's important to write unmounted or you know the deleted so that you can save your data to the backend. Um, we are seeing that in the life cycle, right? When the component gets removed, uh, you can use a life cycle <coughs> function uh, to save the data. That's what you could have done when this component gets removed. You could save the data into the backend if you're not already doing it. We could do it at that time. But we are trying to do that, you know, you could also do that at, at the time of, uh, you know, say hi function as well. It's left to you, how do you want to code it? Now we can, we can do this styling like we have done for, you know, any other bootstrap app too. You know, for example, we can add the whole navbar style. I'm just going to add a bootstrap navbar style here. You can remove this plain one and add the navbar style using bootstrap, nothing special. I'm just adding the class directly to navlink. You can also add it using class binder if you want to. Then if I reload, <coughs> you can see that, you know, it's a standard bootstrap thing and it's still you can use it, right? You can go to various pages and you, these components can be as big and, you know, as complex as you want it. Like, uh, for example, if you had a component where you had like a dynamic FAQ, where you would fetch the FAQ using APIs and display, you could have defined an FAQ component. And then, you know, instead of static template, you could have used dynamic template where you could get the FAQs from the backend and uh, show it as part of your mounted, you know, life cycle so that, you know, it's dynamic. So that's how you, you do routing within view. And this is one of the simplest and easier one to do. Uh, view supports many other ways uh, to do it. You can go one by one. One other thing is you can also send properties. For example, um, in our uh, message board, we have a title. <clears throat> we have not sent any uh, title. We could, uh, we could do that as part of our, you know, our routes definition too. Uh, it's just, um, just send the props there, right? Because we are sending like almost static props. So it's easy to send and uh, if you refresh it, it should come, see? And you could, you could, you could play with, with routes to make it like, you know, look like one single page. Um, you know, app, even though you are, you know, showing, displaying various parts of the application. For example, you could, you like if you had a blog post and on click of one button, you could actually load all the comments, which would look like a different page or, but uh, you could just, you know, uh, get it as part of a different component using view routes. Um, there are many examples by the view routes project. You can go through them. They've given lots of example, how to do matching, how to do redirect. Um, you know, there are options how to do 404 if somebody enters edits an URL in a wrong way and how to send properties, parameters, etc., etc. Uh, go the, go, go through these standard examples. I think they are pretty good. Or if you are trying to do something, if you don't know how to do, you can probably look at these, uh, 
examples uh, to check uh, to see if there's an option uh, that you want to use so you can also see that you know here uh, you can they use hash uh, as part of an anchor or url uh, to go to different components and that's the same as this path that we have used right uh, if i go to this path that uh, we have used here right which means it's also bookmarkable right like when if i copy this and go in a new page it will go to that specific page no works like a web app too um, one of the biggest features of a web app is actually shareable urls right you could also make it possible right uh, that's all in today's session um, go ahead and use all kinds of view routes to make your app a single page app uh, thanks for watching Bye.